elephant in the room. I have shaved <laughs> some, but not all of the beard. It is quite amazing, I will say. I feel like I need to like snap and do a Slim Jim or something. What's the point of this? Why, why even do? Because I'm kind of a silly guy and that's a part of who I am. And here's the thing, here's the thing I wanna talk about today. I don't have a mixing tip for you. I don't have um, a crazy new EQ or compression technique to give you. But I have something that I think is valuable, something that I'm trying to work, work out in my own head, and something I'm probably guessing we're all working out. There's so much, so much of the time, so many of us are taking ourselves so seriously. Now, I'm not advocating being silly for the sake of being silly if you're not a silly person, but I think there's so much life and personality that you have that you keep hidden in this little box and you never let it out and you're, you're scared to, to be vulnerable, to be exposed, to put yourself out there and I just, I run into it so much with my own self and overcoming a lot of that and still struggling a lot with it too but I just, I see it so much out there and I just, I want you to know that the world needs you to put yourself out there. Just, just put yourself out there, you're awesome. And the world needs you to be silly sometimes. The world needs you to not take things so seriously. Just the other day, I, there's a, an old video I posted a while back on um, why I don't pirate plugins, right? And, and how I could make a case for if you do pirate plugins, you probably aren't as good of a mixer as you could be because you're relying on these expensive plugins, whether you're buying them or stealing them or stealing them. Um, and you could be better if you just used the stock stuff and got really good at it. Anyway, people get so serious and angry and the comments and the, the backbiting and all that have to go delete comments because people are just mean. And I just, I wish, what, what would happen if we just didn't take ourselves so seriously? If we, we made great music, if we played that great music, mistakes and all, if instead of trying to create this thing that I feel like we're, we're so focused on making something that pleases everyone that we kind of bore everyone, right? We don't please anybody and we create something boring. What if you made something that's uniquely you? For example, you may have noticed on my YouTube channel, I've started putting up these, um, calling them music therapy videos, where I just play a song, usually a cover of someone else's song that I like, that I'm, honestly, it came about, I was sitting here working right over here, and I was feeling kind of down and I wanted to play a song and I thought, wow, that's a great song. I should, I've never recorded it. So I threw up this camera right here, recorded it, slapped it on YouTube and it's this new thing I'm trying. It may not last forever, but, and honestly, it probably turns off a big chunk of people who find Home Studio Corner and find my YouTube channel and they're looking for mixing tips, but interspersed throughout, they're getting videos like this where I have weird things on my face and I'm talking about some somewhat non-music related stuff or they get, videos of my band playing a show or videos of me playing a song and that's not why they came and so they they may just unsubscribe and go away forever and so many people would tell me oh Joe oh you can't do that you can't you have to please the masses and I'm thinking <laughs> I was thinking something I'm not gonna say on video but who cares what the masses want yes you want to do what the market wants yes you want to be as an artist something that that appeals to a large number of people. You can't appeal to one single person and hope to make a career out of that. But you also can't please everybody. You know, there's there's width and there's depth. I may not have the biggest YouTube following in the world, I certainly don't, but I feel like I go deep. And I, if you're gonna stick around with me, I wanna go deep with you. I wanna let you in on lots of things that are going on, the good and the bad. I don't wanna present this together person clearly. I wanna present a real person who makes music and has some gifts and talents, but also like struggles with fear and anxiety and, and, and messes up and all that stuff. So anyway, I'm trying to take myself less seriously, but at the same time, take me seriously, if that makes sense. I don't, that doesn't make sense at all. I don't wanna just present a serious professional version of me. I wanna present me. And for me, that means stuff like this. For you, I don't know what that means for you, but I wanna challenge you to get out of your shell to come out just a little bit and to do something that scares you, something that you've always wanted to do, something that you've been putting off forever. It could be something huge. It could be something as simple as finishing that mix and getting it on SoundCloud and posting it to your Facebook and three people will like it. You know, that may be discouraging, but it's way better than the alternative of not doing anything, right? So this is a call 
to you. If you haven't done anything in a while, go do something. Not because it makes you a better person, not to earn your worth, not for any of that, but because you've got a lot to give and you've been holding back. And I want to give you permission to stop holding back. Shave something funny in your face. Go shoot a video. Go put a song out. Go play a show. Go busk on the corner somewhere with your case open and make $3. I don't know what it is, but I feel like something's resonating with you. You already have it in your head. And I say, go do it. Go do it. And then leave a comment. Let me know what you're going to do. And then come back and leave a comment. Let me know what you did do and how it went. I Really, I'm going to be reading. I, I would love to know. For real. For serious. All right. That's enough of me yapping away. I'm going to go. But, um, man, I hope this really hits home for at least one person. Just, just one. Just one of you. That's all I got. See ya.